It is day one and we've just arrived at Heathrow Airport. We're just waiting for the bus. We've just parked the car and we're all very excited. So we've been through security. We're now heading towards the gate. So we've got all our snacks because we haven't had lunch. So we figured we'd better get some stuff to eat. And um, now we're heading it down towards gate C66. We're just waiting to get on the plane. That's the plane we're going to get on. Um, and we're just in the queue now, but the kids are very excited. So we've been nearly 10 hours on the plane and we're just coming into Denver now. Um, we're all a little bit tired and a bit grumpy, but it'll be worth it. You're very well welcome to Denver. The local time here, it's 5.40 in the afternoon. We've just arrived at our hotel. Um, where are we going? It's about three o'clock in the morning for us, but only like what, eight o'clock here. Here's our hotel room. Okay, come in, come in. <laughs> okay, so we've got a bathroom, obviously. And um, yeah, so who's going in what beds? And me and William sharing, and about I sharing, is that the plan? We're all absolutely shattered, we're starving hungry. Um, the driving on the wrong side of the road and the um, steering wheel on the wrong side was also quite stressful, but we made but we made it, so that was the most important thing. And I think now we're gonna go and find some food and then see if we can get an, a night's sleep. So it's our first day in Denver, and um, we got up so early, so the kids were like wide awake by half past three, jet lag. Um, so um, the only thing that was open is Walmart at like half past seven in the morning. So that is where we've come. We've come to Walmart just to have a look around because I haven't been to an American supermarket for 11 years. So um, I'm really excited just by a trip to Walmart. Like what stuff? So this is Annabelle's dream here. What? Sandwich cookies, all sorts of different snickerdoodles, brownies. Um, no, we're not getting those. We'll put those back. <laughs> So we've had an excellent trip to Walmart. William got some new trainers. Brian got loads of new, new clothes, so that was quite exciting. And now we've come to Red Rocks, which um, my one of my really good friends from school had lived in Denver for years. And so she's recommended that we come here. So this is the first place. I'll climb it. This is the first place we've decided to come on our adventure day. So there's a nice walkway up here. It looks like a pretty steep climb, but hopefully we should get some amazing views over Colorado when we get to the top. We made it right to the top of the amphitheatre and you get an amazing views over Denver. Yeah, look at all those fitness experts down there. It's crazy. So we've now come to Golden. I mean, I love it. Howdy, folks. Welcome to Golden where the West lives. That was a terrible accent. Um, so yeah, we're just having a little school around Golden as my friend used to live here and she recommended we come. So we might try and stop and get some lunch here. And I got a big cup. Oh, William's damaged. It's pretty bad. Um, so we need to clean him up as well. Fancy a chair made of skis? Very comfy? Yeah. yeah. Wow, that's cool, isn't it? So we've just been and got all the souvenirs and uh, we're heading somewhere for lunch. So Brian's now found a real estate agent that's thinking, oh, let's buy land. Let's buy land with that view. It's like $135,000 for all. And then start a glamping site in uh, Colorado. Yeah. <laughs> so we just found the river and um, I feel like I'd quite like to go down it in a rubber ring. <laughs> it looks fun. It does look fun. So apparently uh, Golden is also famous for its Coors beer factory. So this, there you can see the Coors factory over there. Um, so they do like factory tours and all that. We haven't got time to do that unfortunately. But um, it's just over there. And we're gonna probably go and have a little walk along the river. You gonna go and ring the big bell? Golden alarm bell rings for all the volunteers and contributors to the Golden area. <laughs> You're not really ringing it very well. What are you doing? <laughs> well, this is very pretty. 
Really? Yeah. Is it cold? Yeah. Oh, it is cold. Oh, that's nice. Oh, thank you, me. So we didn't manage to get lunch. We actually got ice creams instead. So I've got mint. You've got cotton candy. It's Monday morning. We managed to make it through to about four o'clock this morning, which is an improvement on yesterday's three o'clock. So um, the kids are watching tablets before breakfast. Luckily, breakfast is at six o'clock, so at least we can go down and get breakfast in a minute. And then this morning we're going to head to the glamping show um, for the setup day, just to see how everything's going and see if we can get a bit of a behind the scenes video of what's going on. We have just arrived at the glamping show, Americas, so it's really exciting. So we've we followed the True Domes guys in, um, so we're now at the True Domes dome. Um, let me just show you. So I've got the green cover on. Um, I'll show you inside. It's a work in progress at the moment. Um, yeah, you can see all the wagons going up, all the domes going up. So there's um, a couple of domes there. There's loads more domes than there would be at the UK one. There's an Airstream. I'll just show you inside here quickly. They're just getting the bathroom pod installed. Um, and then all the in insulation's in. And I think we need to like clear all this out. Um, so. Yeah, they're doing well. Um, there's a proper Mongolian yurt yeah, over there, so we're going to go and see if we can wander around and have a little look. There's room and border coming in to completely style the place. So we'll show you it once it's all completely styled. So we're just going to have a little wander around the show as they're setting it up. Um, so I don't know, look, yeah, they're building, that like, looks like a massive, like, bit of steel framed yet, which I've never seen before. Look at this tiny home, which actually isn't very tiny. <laughs> and then there's actually loads of domes here. Well, I know, because it's not that tiny, is it? It's more Bell tents. They've definitely got more canvas structures in the UK. Um, so they've got three domes here. I think this must be Echo Dome, that? yeah, Echo Dome here. What is that? So they only had one dome at the Glamping Show. Oh, there's a teepee. That's a cool teepee as well. It's a proper teepee. And you definitely don't get these in the UK. They're so cool. No red boxes. So these have a bit of contention really because people are worried that birds are going to fly into them and damage themselves, which I kind of get. But they do look like they just blend into the background. It's amazing. Oh, there they are. <laughs> they are just amazing. So there's a, um, this is the hall where I think all the um, seminars and stuff are. So I think this is a crossover lodge. It's interesting to see them building it and how the structure is. You get the frame up and then you get all the inside tent up um so it's interesting to see all the process of it all but look, they've got a lot of their stuff up and done already so brian's all over the trucks and i think yeah like a, a ford f-150 <laughs> this totally gives me my next vehicle it's absolutely massive <gasps> it is nice it's really nice no they wouldn't fit on the country roads no definitely not this is the cave, and they basically make it look like you're sleeping in a cave. And I can't wait to go inside that tomorrow. So Universal Rocks are the guys that build these cave um, domes. So they've got um, they've got a dome, and then they clad the dome in the cave structure. And this is going to be a whole water feature. And a crocodile. <laughs> alligator. Alligator. Sorry. Um, so we will come and see it tomorrow when it's all set up. But. It looks like it's going to be absolutely mega. So it's got like a bathroom pod and I think the bedroom space will be in there. It's going to be absolutely epic. It's like a high level activity here. So I'm going to take you down to show you the, where the glamping is. So here is the glamping at the glamping show. They've got a load of bell tents. I don't know who supplied them. Um, it's Bell Tent City on site glamping. Um, so yeah, so it's literally just a stone throw from the actual site, easy peasy, um, and you get some nice views out over Colorado, and I like it. It is day one of Glamping Show Americas, and here we are at the True Dome Dome, which is where we're going to spend most of our time, but we are going to take you around the whole show. In this vlog, I'm not going to show you much of the actual show, but I will link to the video here, so if you want to see the whole Glamping Show, then the video is here. So we're going to get a ride, and this is so exciting. Yeah, 
Okay. And then have your two kids. Do you want to be up front with me? Feeling safe today? No. <laughs> so, uh, so uh, yeah, hold on to the strap and uh, have fun. And most people have enjoyed this. Oh, I don't good. Think, I don't think anybody's complained. <laughs> Is it possible to get it stuck? Oh yeah, I've got a cheap Oh my if goodness. If you want a picture, I can take a picture. So it's breakdown time now. Um, this dome is sold, so they're gonna take the dome away on the trailer. Um, and it's time to pack it all up. So all of a sudden it's literally just turned four o'clock and everybody is on the pack down. So there's a telehandler. They're getting all the steps up. Like it's such a lot of work for literally two days. You know, building all these things, packing them all down. It's mad, really. Yeah. He's just, they're just literally at the top of the telly and they're pulling the panels off. Like, that's mental. That's brilliant. And ever so slightly dangerous. So, room and board will come in here and take away all the furniture, and then this whole, whole pod is just going to literally go on the back of the trailer here, I think. I think it'll fit in the trailer. And then the insulation's coming down, and that'll all get packed into the True Domes box over there. And before you know it, it'll all be down. But I think we're going to go home because we're knackered. So we're back for the glamping show and the kids wanted to go in the pool. So um, luckily, every time we've been in the pool, we've been the only ones here because the pool is so freezing cold that I wouldn't even get in it. So um, the kids are quite happily, excuse you, quite happily playing and I'm lifeguard. We've got a day off today um, before we leave, so we've come to um, Denver Botanical Gardens just for a little wander around because um, it looks quite good fun. So um, you can come and have a look with us. It's our second amphitheatre of the trip. It's cool. That's a massive marquee as well. This is cool. The Tropical Conservatory. Ready for Halloween. So I think we should do this for the field. Just get a stick, get a pumpkin, make some spooky pumpkin ghosts for Halloween. Sounds good, cool, doesn't it?
it's our last day in Denver today. Um, we fly out about half past seven this evening. Um, so we thought we'd try and find somewhere vaguely near the airport that we could just spend a few hours. Um, so we've come to Rocky Mountain Arsenal National Wildlife Refuge. We've got no idea what it's like. Um, but thought we'd just, as I say, come somewhere not too far. We're all suffering a bit with the altitude yeah, and the dry yeah. air. Um, so everyone's a bit... Um, a bit dry and not feeling that great. Um, so yeah, well, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, we'll uh, see if we see any wildlife. <laughs> it's cold today too. So they've got this cool visitor centre. Um, so it used to be an arsenal. So tell me again, weapons in the war? Wait a second, the war board announces that 19,800 acres of prairie in far east of Denver will be the site of chemical, chemical weapons, weapons manufacturing. Wow, so this is business centre dedicated to that sort of well, information. Whole... But then there's a wildlife drive you can go around, so we're going to go and see if we can see any bison, so that'd be quite exciting. Did you actually get to see bison? Yeah, there's actually bison herds <laughs> in this area. Really? Yeah. Wow. So I'm hoping we'll see some bison in real life, but if we don't, then here's one that, um, that you can see. <laughs> I've never seen a bison before in my life. So the kids have got this junior ranger program booklet. Um, so you have to fill in all sorts of different things about the animals and the bison and the ferrets. And they've got this, uh, um, and yeah, <laughs> to draw a drawing. Um, and they've got their junior ranger badges, show your junior ranger badges. So yeah, they're really cool. We had a really good time actually. So yeah, now we're going to do the wildlife drive. So on our wildlife drive, we've seen a prairie dog. A little thing there, a couple of them. Just before we head off to the airport, I've dragged everybody to Red Lobster because it's literally my favourite American restaurant. Um, and I'm having my also favourite clam chowder and the biscuits, which are my favourite thing in the world. Nobody else seems that enthusiastic. Um, <laughs> um, and Brian doesn't like fish, so like it's like the worst restaurant for him. Um, but I'm having a lovely time. <laughs> so it's time for us to go home. There's our plane. And uh, we're all very, 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 very tired. <laughs> Why do you say very so I'm much? Not. Because we're very tired. I'm not. We've had, oh, we haven't slept very well in the hotel room okay. together, but I can't complain. Um, so, yes, I hope you enjoyed our Denver vlog. Um, and don't forget to find, you can find the glamping show video um, in the link on the description as well. And, um, yeah, we will see you on the next video, which I don't know what that will be. But thank you for watching.